hurt in this round. Oh, he gets hit with the right hand again. Ravennikov letting it fly again. Oh, they're just punching it out. Again, this isn't Bradley's fight. This is Ravennikov's fight. Look at this guy. He fell down. And look at this. He's really hurt. Ravennikov and Bradley in the same height. Nothing between them in the palace. You know about that. You won the All Army uh, Boxing Championship. Yeah, what was that? 1971, huh? Touch him up. Good luck. I'm out of the belt. Uh, got great experience fighting. To be O contender, Wilson provoke. It's in the black trunks with the. That's uh, Bradley with his back to you. Size are taller too. Yeah, he does. Yet they're both. Kravodnikov with tons of amateur experience. Guy uh, with 22 victories in this welterweight division. He gets his angles. He stops and beat uh, Manny Pacquiao. And you stand toe to toe with him. And you box is equal with the guy. You know he's a, he's a little bit of hand speed. He opened up his mouth. Uh, use upper body movement, get out of the way, and then kind of try to. You know, he's got 15 knockouts uh, in his 22 wins. Bradley only has 12, but Bradley is certainly it catches him with another nice uppercut inside. Watch he has his gunner as well. Got hit with a light left hand, but then he lands three left hooks in the arm and right hand crashes out two minutes of round number one. Right left to the ear, another left hand, gets him with the right hand, another left hand. I don't know that, that this is the little war. It's not his fight. Yeah, he might be trying to prove something, and that that could be a fight. Oh, he got hurt with another right hand. Yeah, you heard it. He is hurt. He had called with a slip, but his left yeah. hand right. He's out, he's, you know, he got nailed with that right hand. He fell back on his heels again. I mean, he was knocked down. Right. Well, his scorters are knocked down because he was pushed. But Preventicoff is going to win this round. Okay. He fell down. Yeah, and look at this. Yeah. He's really hurt. Huge surprises in round one. He's very wide-eyed right now, almost looks sheepishly. Now, this is it all the time. I think it's just the way Mumpies looks like a stocky guy that he is. He's going to be filled with confidence right now. Oh, absolutely. You just see, he just took a sunny hour. I think he just feels that he's going to get this fight. He may well if Tim continues to make the mistake oh. of fighting in sight. Tim got clipped again by a... I don't know. He's his hurt. legs, his, yeah, leg. his, his legs are not great, which means he has no hole on his punches to get hit again. Man. Tries to get up and see how flat-footed he's down and thrilled if he wants to fight on the inside. Oh. Tim get clipped from the line, losing power. Oh. He gets nailed with another left hand. Falls forward, ready to go again with a minute and nine seconds to go. You know, he wanted to show something, and his that not work for him. He got in this round. Another big shot. He's been hit punches, shoe shine punches, and they don't hurt Rosen one bit. One shot, so for him to stand there trying to do that, it's crazy. Uh, Tim's ready to go again. And then here he goes, as he falls into the ropes. And this guy land. Tim just avoiding shots as best he can. There's nothing on his punches. Step back, give him the room, and lower up a shot. I mean, there's a case to score these first two rounds. 10-8 in favor for him could be sure that Freddie Roach is thrilled round three. Now Tim tries to go back to boxing, but it, you know, he's in trouble. The other factor, he did throw a lot of punches in the first two rounds. Hands it down now. This is perfect minute of the first round that prevented off got really dangerous. Tim back now, he fights out here. Tim staying away, doing what he should do. Now, that's the way to fight this guy. You it off, you just uh, didn't have enough gas. And Diaz and Ray and Bradley in that corner, Tim said, hey, what the heck are you doing? Fight the... Hit and don't get hit. In and out. Ruslan continues to fall. This is his fight. Bang! Gets hit. Oh, I get caught again. I'm fighting a guy as strong as Ruslan. Two body shots and his shot. There you go. This is good stuff now by Tim. So it was able to be hit easy by Ruslan that time. Back with a fading fourth and scoring up the way he's doing that. Oh, nice shot here. Yes, yes. This is good boxing now. Tim knows what he's doing right now. He moves side to side. Make sure you get the arms tied up. <laughs> I hate to see a guy that's been criticized so much and see what happened to him. Just do what you do, and he's done it excellently. And he tried to trade with him, and that certainly didn't work in the second and third round. And he paid oh, off. beautiful left hook by Rizzo's like getting in the inside, but he's not able to do the kind of work he did in the, in the first two rounds. Okay. Don't linger in there. 
long as he still feel confident that he can land punches in here, and that's a mistake. Made that mistake in the second and third round. So he's laying in the big exchange with this guy. There's a ton of a glancing right. But he's a guy that's trying to show some power with both hands out and it blows up for Molly. Round of 10, 10 punches that Bradley's throat. Tim comes up with that elbow and Pat Russell says, hey, watch right. This is Tim Bradley's oh. fight when he fights like this. Got caught with two left hooks. At the I don't want to see him get caught in that southpaw stance though that's happening. Two rounds is in a heap of trouble. Didn't Tim showing a hand speed again. This is great stuff now for Tim Bradley. Side, he's taking his shoulders from side to side and, you know, throwing, standing up. It's still danger to be in, dangerous to be in there that close. His face, while it's not cut, it's really popping. Oh! I mean, look at these. These are solid shots. It's marked from the rest of the way out. They clip with the left hand, and his Provindikov on his assault now. And Bradley's hurt in this round. Oh, he get hit with the right hand again! Provindikov letting it fly again! Oh, they're just punching it out. Again, this isn't Bradley's fight. This is Provednikov's fight. Look at this guy. Come on, let it go. Wrong ah, thing. Great round, but wrong thing. That's Provednikov's round. Because he hurt Bradley. Even after... Pretty even. I get a dead even. Dead even. 57-57 after six. This is round number seven. And this was right on top because he's a great referee. Orthodox, up on the toes, sliding to his right, bounces off the down, down the ropes. This fight, in which time he's had Provodnikov. So that round. All right, here we go in round number eight. That's the perfect fight to stop. This is Master Pacquiao stuff, and this is certainly Master Mick. The experience of your experience as a welterweight champ. The left eye might have popped open. Those of us who love to watch real true boxing. Right aside, taking angles. All right, nice. That's the case this is round nine, Home Depot Center, Carson, California. Good. Get of your screen, trying to hunt down the reigning champion, Timothy Bradley, who's favorite coming in here. Good boxing in seven and eight, and I've got him slightly up here. We mentioned the leather upstairs, and now the fans are showing an appreciation for With a lot more urgency in, in, in the attack, because I think that they told him you got to step. Fight his instinct to brawl. You can't help it. you got to really be disciplined to get at Tim. It doesn't really catch Tim, but this is a dangerous place for Tim inside, unless he's throwing. He's he throwing so, oh yeah, he'd be stopped because of a cut. It's a technical knockout as opposed to a technical decision. Nice oh. uppercut. He's hurt this guy now. You can see the legs of Ravindikov. He's some kind of tough guy. Right on top of that cut again. Oh. Lord knows how many more punches he's landed than Ravindikov. That cut is bad now. So we'll have to keep it. Uh, top, right on top, of it. and how bad it is. Right on top. You're not able to explore the way you did in the earlier in the fight. He's trying to hunt down this guy. Loads up the right hand, misses with it. Then comes back and misses the left. Bleeding again, and it, it's in a bad spot because that blood is going right into his eye. Now this is the tenth round. Tim taps on that eye again. Top of it to close out the round. Back around, I would say, comfortably in his favor. But again, this wounded war. And he looks like he's got enough left in him. I mean, he's cut, but he's... Uh, the energy back. Maybe, uh, I mean, they, when they tell you in the corner that you've got to come out and do something because you're losing it, sometimes... They... Right, Tim bounces outside. Oh. He got caught with a straight left hand that time. Well, this is the heart that the champions have. Provodnikov trying to muster up as much strength as he possibly can to land a big blow. Bradley on the inside, not the way to oh, fight this guy. Got to pay for it. A lot of time in this round. Bradley got a little up. Bradley. I think both of those guys are exhausted. There's no quitting them. Either wow. one of these guys. What a round of boxing oh, oh, for two goodness. guys that are exhausted. That's the guy around to beat this guy. As Ravodnikov came here to lift the title, and it's been a, and get clipped again and staggered in the uh, tenth, eleventh round, rather. And here's Tim exchanging with him again, and the fight won't be close enough. And let's go for the last minute of this world championship day.
Provodnikov is a guy on the assault. Bradley oh. he get clipped. Have this guy and walk him. And he's fighting him all. Stay. He could get knocked out here. He's ready to go. And blows up his shot. Gets covered with another right hand. Does Bradley. Tim is hurt. Reeling around. All but falling down. Finally. Six. It's up to seven and seven. eight. And we're going to run. The fight's just about oh. over. Bradley was completely hot on his feet, so it very easy could have been it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, it's in the hands of Jerry Cantu, Raul Caiz, and Marty Dankins. Remember, he was out on his feet twice. By way of unanimous decision, Timothy Bradley!